Welcome back for another Dave Campbell's Texas Football Talking Point. I'm Greg Tepper. He's EJ Holland. We are here to talk a little bit of Rice Owls, where uh, 10 wins last year, a conference championship, their first conference title since 1957, and it really raised the profile for Rice coach David Bailiff. You know, we've been big fans of his around here at the magazine for a long time. You're the newcomer of the DCTF staff, so I want to know, where does he rank? Where does David Bailiff rank as far as the 12 FBS coaches in Texas? Before you jump on me. I'm not going to jump. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm. <laughs> Let me just say that there are so many great coaches in we this great that. state. So, I mean, there's Kevin Sumlin, Gary Patterson, Charlie Strong, on and on and on. So there's a lot of competition for Bailiff, yeah. but I would rank him down around eight or nine. Yeah, it's tough. There are a lot of great coaches even down uh, and non-BCS coaches. You, you got McCartney at North Texas. You got Larry Coker at UTSA. I think both of those guys you could put in front of Bailiff, but that's not taking away from the job that Bailiff's done. It's just he has so much competition here, but he's done a great job and he definitely deserves a lot of credit for helping Rice turn it around. I agree with half of what you said. The, the state of Texas is loaded with coaching talent. We talk about guys like Sean Coogler out at, uh, out at UTEP, what he's doing. But then on the other hand, I completely disagree with you. Are you kidding me? I think David Bailiff is almost, is definitely, definitely, definitely in the top half of coaches in the state of Texas. He has, what he has done at Rice has been spectacular. And the thing you've got to remember is that he's working with a lot of constraints that a lot of other coaches are not. You know, Rice has very high academic standards that you can, you've only got a certain number of kids that you can select. So to get those kids in, get them interested in Rice, and then get them playing at that level has been tremendous. And don't forget, he did this before. He did great things at what was then Southwest Texas before he came to Rice. I think he's in the top half of coaches in the, in the state of Texas, even with the the very, very, you know, tough landscape that is Texas coaches. I mean, I think he's definitely in the top half. What he's done there has been spectacular. So would you put him ahead of McCarney and would you put him ahead of Coker? Yeah, I would. I, I think so. I look at this and I think he's definitely, I think there's no doubt that he's in the top half. He, he's a guy that can go and win a conference championship in what is still a tough conference. I think people knock on the con on Conference USA a little bit, but there's still a lot of different things you've got to navigate. And, and when you consider all of the academic standards that he has to deal with, I think what he's doing at Rice is tremendous. So I'll give you the last word. Do you want to change your opinion? No, I don't want to change my opinion. <laughs> I, I really do think McCarney and Coker deserve a lot of credit. They've done, done a similar job. You're right. You're right. The academic standards and everything is tough on Bailiff. But I just think there are a few better coaches. But, you know, he's still a great one. Agree to disagree. Well, that's going to just about do it for us. Log on to TexasFootball.com for all things state of football. He's EJ Holland. Send your hate mail to him, Rice fans. I'm Greg Tepper, the one you love. We'll see you next time.